fight, what kind of difference did that make? Oh, uh, 100%. You know, I felt way better. I'm not going back down to 135 for nothing, but I will fight Tank next. If Tank wants that uh, at 140, hey, but hey, hey, I'm going to record all the negotiations so he, so you guys don't make no headlines saying I'm ducking. If he want it, let's get it. Why is that? One wow. Huh. Thought we had one. Guess not. Um, you know what, though? I believe a lot of people saw this coming. Um, I don't think too many people really believe that the Tank Davis, Ryan Davis, I mean, Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia fight was going to happen anyway. A lot of obstacles, and uh, a lot of people just didn't believe Ryan really wanted to fight anyway. It just it seems like. You ever seen the movie uh, <laughs> Lucky Number Slapping with Bruce Willis? Where he said the Kansas City Shuffle. When you get people to look left, then you go right. <laughs> it kind of seemed like that's what Ryan does. And uh, it's a shame because a lot of people was getting pumped up behind that. I happen to not be one of them. I learned my lesson last year and the year before that. It just that that seems to be his his pattern, and uh, according to Oscar De La Hoya, they said they're they're pulling out of negotiations, and that's the way the way Oscar's talking, like it wasn't no negotiations, and see that's the funny thing about it because you kept hearing reports all last week of how the negotiations had started. Chris Mannix put it out there. I could have swore Oscar did. So now all of a sudden he's saying, you know, he he can't get in touch with anybody from I mean from Tank's team. It's just who knows. Me personally, I think social media is the worst thing that's happened to boxing. Now, as far as boxing fans. It might be better for us, but for boxing itself, I would have to say it is very bad because the one thing you don't want to do really in any type of sport is have negotiations in the media. That's a no-no. I don't care whether it's boxing, football, basketball, contract disputes and stuff like that. You don't want to hash that out in the media. That's the wrong place to be doing such things. So that alone, I think, because you get you get you get false reports. You don't you don't know what's what. Even even it's it's like the NBA. No, I'm sorry. It's like the NFL draft. Teams will literally come out and put out false narratives to try to achieve what it is they really want. And it seems like that's the way it is with boxing. Now, a lot of people ain't going to want to hear this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Manny Pacquiao used to do this all the time. Great fighter. You know, not knocking him as a fighter. Maybe it was Bob Arum's doing. Who knows? But they would come out and say, hey, we're in negotiations with this, that, and the third fighter. Then they'll come out and fight somebody else. Now, the person they might choose to fight might not even be a bad fight. But it wasn't who they said they were intending on getting in the ring with in the first place. And it seems like that's a tactic a lot of promoters or boxers use when it comes to negotiations. Maybe put out there that we're looking to fight one guy to put pressure on another guy to sign the contract. Or at least that's my take on it. But at the end of the day, Teofimo Lopez is supposed to be the target that they're they're pointing at now. And that'll be a hell of a fight if it does come to fruition. I would be just as excited about Ryan fighting Teofimo as I would be Ryan fighting Tank, to be honest with you. I'm, you know, I'm not that picky. I'll take that fight any day of the week. But still, it makes you look bad when you keep calling somebody out and then pulling out of negotiations, if that's what happened. But like I said, the way things are today, you really don't know what's what. 
But I will say this, Oscar was the one more vocal about the stuff. He's the one that, that put it out there, that negotiations have started. The Zone was putting it out there. Chris Mannix, he works with the Zone. So, I mean, excuse me, I mean, it is what it is. But uh, that's pretty much all I got. This is Head Bust and Boxes on Fight Doctor. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know if you, what you think. Is it possible that the fight could still happen? It, it, it's, it's actually possible. It could. You know, Floyd or whoever could call Austin today and be like, hey, man, what's up? I thought we was, you know, because like I said, the media could be used as a tool to decide what's what or to put pressure on somebody to make you a better offer or whatever. So who knows? But like I said, hit me up. Do you, do you believe the fight could still happen? Or would you accept the Tia Fimo fight? Me personally, I'd love to see that fight too. But that's pretty much all. I got this here, Bustle Boxes. On Fight Doctor, I am out.